The water that covers 70% of the Earth holds vast stores of energy. It flows continuously, but in most places too slowly for modern technology to harness its power. That could change soon, thanks to an invention by University of Michigan researchers. Their machine is called Vivace, and it can tap into the energy locked in slow-moving ocean and river currents. The vast majority of currents around the world are slower than three knots. Vivace greatly expands our ability to harness energy from slow currents, even as slow as one knot. There's no other technology that can go into such a slow flow and harness the energy. Vivace is a new concept in hydrokinetic energy. It doesn't depend on turbines, tides, waves, or dams, and it's believed to be more environmentally friendly. It actually imitates the swim strategy of a school of fish. The concept works like this. It plops a cylinder into the water across the direction of the current. The cylinder causes the water flowing around it to form into vertical whirlpools that alternate above and below the cylinder. The whirlpools push or pull on the cylinder, causing it to bounce up and down in what are called vortex-induced vibrations. It's these vortex-induced vibrations, this up and down motion, that the machine captures. Vivace finds a benefit of vortex-induced vibrations, but the powerful phenomenon is typically not kind to man-made structures. Back in uh, November of 1940, the Tacoma Narrows Bridge got into torsional vibration, and in a matter of hours, the bridge collapsed. So in all disciplines of engineering, uh, naval, marine, offshore, nuclear, aerospace engineering, civil engineering, we try to suppress vortex-induced vibrations. And at some point it dawned on me that maybe what we can do instead of suppressing VIV, enhance VIV, work in a totally different domain of vortex-induced vibrations, and then try to harness the energy. But as we started studying this phenomenon and moving really from the general idea of man-made structures in the water environment, we started realizing that fish use a lot of the same technology. They basically curve their bodies, they collect a large vortex on the curved side, they straighten their bodies, shed that vortex, collect one on the other side, and they basically glide between these vortices. So when you go to an aquarium and you see uh, schools of fish going in contact formation, what happens, every fish is gliding between vortices generated by the fish ahead of them. And it's a very efficient way of propelling themselves. Marine renewable energy has its advantages and disadvantages. The big advantage is that it's abundant and it's everywhere. The vast majority of the energy that Earth collects from the sun is absorbed by water. So we need technology that's new, environmentally friendly to harness this energy. And that's where Vivace comes in. It looks exotic to humans because we live in air and all we see around us is lifty surfaces like airplane wings, bird wings, sailboats, uh, windmills. But if we put ourselves in water, then the picture is totally different. Anything that moves in a dense fluid from tiny sperm to huge whales is basically a bluff body with a tail. So to fish and marine life, this is the natural thing. This technology is being commercialized through Professor Bernitza's company, Vortex Hydroenergy. A pilot project in the Detroit River is in its early stages. For the University of Michigan News Service and the College of Engineering, I'm Nicole Cassell-Moore.